ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the uh, Robin Hood, the new gold standard live stream. Exciting. Oh, I got to start. Uh, yeah, we got 10 minutes left, and they're talking about people making their way to, the, to their seating right now. So there's All nothing right. to be seen. There's no, it's just a timer. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a live event, which I think is so much different than any of the other events that they've ever done. Yeah. And they're plugging it hard. It's like all over the place. They're advertising it on multiple platforms. Like this is going to be interesting. I'm very excited. I think it's more than just the credit card, man. I'm excited to see what it turns out to be. Yeah. It's like I got to sit up. I feel like I'm like little, I need to zoom in or something. Tanner's just like the big boy. And I'm just like, wait down here. <laughs> I got the small yeah. office chair. <laughs> you got to do uh head up in the top third or whatever. There you go. All right, let me see. I'll just move my camera down. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll come down to you. There you go. That yeah. works. Okay. Oh, there we go. We met in the middle. That works. <laughs> I can't do it. Um, but yeah, so this is definitely going to be a credit card from, from what we understand they're showing off, you know, credit card jewelry, all this different stuff that they're that they're promoting. They recently acquired a company called X1, um, which we can look at their website if you want. It kind of shows oh, that'd be cool. hints into probably what they're going to be promoting. Well, and they had that, yeah, they had that uh, post too on on X with like the gold credit card and like a chain from some designer. And yeah, they're definitely, oh, and I can see they've got a few posts of people with the chain and their gold card. Mm -hmm. A bunch of celebrities, the right? Hours. Yeah. Yeah, so they're definitely flaunting that. That's definitely going to be a key part of it. I just think it might be more than that, too. I th I've got a feeling like they, it combines with some revamped gold mem uh, part of the gold membership program. Because I know they there are some people that were telling me that they were doing the transfers with their IRAs and that um, they had been brought into like some beta for uh, higher costing gold membership. I don't don't know what all those de uh, all the details were for it, but instead of like the four ninety nine that you pay a month, um, it was like nine ninety nine, and so mm. I don't know if that somehow ties in with any of this. But I'm very this interested is, to see. Is, is this speculation, or you saw some like like? No, somebody posted. It, it was a long time ago. Somebody was like, "Oh, hey, I got this thing from Robinhood about this beta thing for my wife, and how they're talking about like charging more for it, and blah blah blah." blah. And I'm just like, um, at the time, I didn't think much of it. But now with all this other stuff going on, I wish I could find the fucking post that this person had done yeah, um, to see if I could get more information on it. But it's what leads me to think that maybe maybe there's something like that tied in with this. They're definitely, definitely posting this as the cool thing, man. Like this card and the gold chain and all the people they have wearing it. I don't so, know. It's, it's going to be interesting to see. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what do you think? This is, I'll, I'll just show off a couple things. So one, yeah. the the chain and everything that you're showing is uh, is this bunch of celebrities wearing yeah. this sort of gold chain that was made by uh, Ben Baller, who's a very famous chain designer that's designed a lot of uh, like rappers chains and stuff like this. Um, but so you can see a bunch of people flaunting this just essentially credit card thing. So it's definitely going to have something to do with this new card. It's just whether or not yeah. that's going to be the only thing that they actually uh, present today. That's what I'm interested in. What else? It feels like doing? they're making too big of a deal of this for mm -hmm. it to just be a card that they've already shown you. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. It feels like it's got to be more. And I, I will say this. I would never wear a gold credit card around my neck. It's like a great way to get robbed. I don't care what country. <laughs> well, it's they're not going to be selling jewelry. <laughs> no, it's just I know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> Never. Um, but but yeah, uh, what's it called? So this was the company that they acquired. So um, a lot of times, whenever companies do acquire those, uh, you know, certain companies, they want the products or features that they're getting with them. So X1 was the company that they acquired. You can see it at the top. X1 is joining Robinhood. Uh, right, something or stay tuned for something new arriving spring 2024. They right deliver uh, a metal card, tracks all your, your transactions, gives you awards uh, in the form of points. They do this based on income, not credit score. Okay. A little mm -hmm. bit different. That is different. 2% oh. on uh, points for every dollar that you spend, but 3% on every uh, dollar spent past $1,000 a month. 
uh, my suspicion is that Robinhood is going to take this away and just make this the standard. 3% for all gold members. Ah, that would be a cool thing. Yeah, yeah. You know? And maybe that's like Uber layer two gold membership too, like like that beta thing that I was talking about where you got to yeah. pay extra if you want to get the, the real cool bling. Also, guys, by the way, yeah. just, just really quick, a mitt is going to be in the stands. Yeah, so, that's great. Um, another, we'll yeah, another, uh, famous, uh, well, not famous, but, uh, another creator in the, in the little finance YouTube space. In our that, world, uh, in our world yeah. he's famous. In our world, he's famous. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, I'm going to be looking for him if they start showing the audience over, he's wearing this big, big gold coat. So, um, yeah. hopefully he'll be spottable. Um, I want to show off just a little bit more. Sure. They have all these bonus rewards for brands that that we use, like Apple, Adidas, all of these different companies. You'll get bonus rewards if you shop at like Nike, uh, what else? Apple, Everlane, Sephora, these sorts of places. So um, cool. I don't know how that's going to incorporate, but I think that this is going to be so much more than what we think. I do too. Hey, you want to show that picture of Amit real quick so they can see how blingy he is? There he is. There you go. He's looking good tonight, guys. He's got his gold jacket. He's got this really nice hairline, and then he shaves it back, so it looks I like... <laughs> I've always wondered, what is with that? Is that why is that a thing? There are people that would kill to have the hairline, and he shaves it back. I don't know. I've got to <laughs> ask him someday. And, like, he, I don't know. He gets his hair cut. He must get it, like, done every three days, because if that starts growing... It, right? He always is like perfectly shaven. I don't. I don't get it, man. I'm too old to do the maintenance that this man is up to right now. Oh, can we? Can we check Amit's? Uh, Amit's Twitter here. Let oh, me bring this. Supposedly, he yeah, just yeah, he's got anything new. Uh yeah, he's got something new. All right, you should post it. I'll got him that. hanging out with Vlad. <laughs> That's fucking awesome, dude. I gotta. I gotta retweet that. That's amazing. That is super cool. And, and the part I love is that Vlad looks excited and Amit's just like, fuck whatever. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best part of the whole thing is that Amit is just like, eh, eh. <laughs> am, am I late or is Tanner late again? I am early. I showed up 10 minutes early to this event. I can vouch okay. for him this time. I don't know what people mean. I've never been late. I've never been late. Not once. Yeah, that's a great photo, though. I love that. Vlad's like, hey, and Amit's just like, eh. That's awesome. Good for him. That is so, um, so what's it called? Stream is starting in just about two minutes. So I'll I'll share the second that we uh, we get something there. Um, actually, I mean, I can put it up now. They're not really playing music anymore. Which is... Cool. Don't don't kill our monetization, Robin Hood. Oh, they're gonna kill it anyway. Unless you're gonna bring the stock price up a lot tomorrow, and then I'm okay with it. <laughs> Yeah, Robin Hood, if you care about my commissions, you will not play music anymore. Uh, I could just mute, by the way, until until the, the time comes. There you uh, go. Okay, so, um, yeah. So what's interesting as well is that the last card that they also put out, like their, their Robin Hood debit card, the cash card, which is actually ran by Galileo, they just put out a press release. They were like, hey, we're putting this out. Sign up today yada 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 they didn't have a live audience and yeah. vlad coming out and a timer and thousands of people watching so um, custom designed gold chains with gold credit cards on them yeah it's definitely yeah. blingier this time man they're not messing around and that could just be a function of them putting a lot of money into this right yeah uh what are they doing now oh yeah are they starting we can always talk more i'm sure we're gonna have a lot of insight afterwards just depends on how long this event is. Uh, you may have to join me for the FinTech Frenzy because I'm doing that at 8.30, but... Okay. okay. It doesn't seem like they're talking. Volume's up, so... Okay, sweet. Got some um, let me drop this banner and get ready. Yeah, I'm excited, though. I think I still have, like, 200,000 in calls on these guys. So if they do something remarkable, I will be very excited. Hopefully Tanner... <laughs> yeah, dude, we got the two crashers uh, streaming this sure, thing right yeah. now. Oh, wild Frenchie. They're going to announce a gold croissant per my friend, <laughs> wild Frenchie. 
people said that because it's called the the new gold standard that this is going to be some card that you'll be able to spend bitcoin through some way like like kind of playing with the new gold standard oh i i guess i could hear that on the wording but i doubt it yeah because they're not really a crypto like if block came out with a card like that i could definitely see it right they're, they're yeah with like the lightning Bitcoin network forward. yeah yeah i could see that too if they do do that whoa I could see, yeah, I could see 3% cash back and then you can take those points and put them into investments or crypto. That's been That's done. That's what I would see. That's yeah. more likely. PayPal does that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty common now. It's funny how things have changed. Like whenever I was young, the debit card that I had couldn't even be spent online. I'd have to go and get pre, <laughs> like, like prepaid yeah, yeah. gift cards in order to spend online. Um. Oh, somebody yeah. said the app right now has the gold card application in it. I'm going to check real quick. Oh, really? Yeah. Show that. Show that, please. Oh, yeah. It does. Here. Uh, wait. wait, wait, wait. I'm trying to get you up here. Is what there. does that say? 3% kind cash back? I don't know. Let me read it. 3% um, cash back across the board. That's right. Earn 3% across the board on all categories. Wow. That's a slam dunk from Tanner right there. I don't think that it was too uh, too hard to guess, but... Yeah, that's, that is smart, though. No annual fees, no foreign transaction fees, 3% across the board. Earn oh. even more on travel, 5% cash back on travel. That's awesome. It comes with benefits and perks, trip interruption protection, purchase security, auto rental collision, extended warranty protection, return protection, zero li liability Concierge protection. Concierge services? Concierge services, travel and emergency, visa. roadside dispatch. That that's a Visa signature card. So you're getting like a decent card. It's not a Visa Infinite from the sounds of it, but um yeah, interesting. Interesting. Oh, we hearing something? Ladies and gentlemen, oh, introducing Vlad Tenev, CEO of Robin Hood. That's definitely a mitt right in the front. Good evening, everyone. I want to welcome you all to the first ever Robin Hood keynote event. Can you turn up the volume at all? So this is the first or maybe time. It's no, it's, su it's super quiet. Robin Hood community is it? Okay. Like this. I'm really excited to see you all here. And by the way, this is me excited. I don't do this a lot. Uh, I don't get on stage a lot. So let's hope this goes well. And if it doesn't, let's hope the uh, announcements carry the water and speak for themselves. Makes so me wonder if his mic's on. Three special announcements to make, including the launch of an all-new Robinhood product. And it's, it's really not just one Robinhood product, but a, a category of products. And as people have come to expect from us, it will include unprecedented benefits to our users. So thank you all for coming today. I think you'll be happy you did. Now, before we get started, how many here are using Robinhood to trade? All right, a lot of hands. How many of you, you, how many of you use Robinhood to plan for the future? Okay, great, because that's about to get even better. But first, I wanna take you through the Robinhood journey so far. So my co-founder Beju and I met as college students. I was specializing in geometry and he just he stepped specializing down. in physics. So we came from outside the traditional financial industry, and we had an opportunity to really look at the industry with a beginner's mind. And we felt that there was a lot that can be improved and changed. So we started Robinhood with the goal of making investing and trading accessible to everyone. And also, of course, of ending the practice of charging clients oversized commissions on every trade. That was a decade ago, and I, I think it's safe to say that we accomplished a lot of those initial goals. Now pretty much every investing app of consequence has had to replicate our business model and our user interface. It has been a wild and sometimes a little bit of a volatile ride as I'm sure of you, some of you can imagine. Um, we've definitely been listening and learning and we've watched a few recent movies as well. <laughs> um, what is for everyone is earning income, setting, they just aside up the volume. Setting, setting aside money, cool. investing in yourself. 
And that's really what today is all about, continuing to lead the way forward with a whole new suite of tools to help you build long-term wealth. You see, there are two doors in the financial services world, one door for the super wealthy, one for everyone else. And behind the super wealthy door, which is where the private bankers and the wealth managers sit, are all kinds of benefits and opportunities that are just not open to everyone else. And this is not a metaphor, by the way. Uh, here you can see the actual two doors at a Chase branch <laughs> in New York City. Um, special door right there if you're a private client. So what we wanna do is continue opening this door, the private client door, the nice one to everyone, no matter what your age, your background, or your bank account balance is. So with that in mind, let's get to today's announcements. First, uh, very excited about this. In order to make all these new products happen, we had to make one fundamental change that'll unlock everything for you. In the coming months, you're gonna start seeing an all new Robinhood when you open the app. And of course, what I'm talking about is the design. Now the current Robinhood design worked perfectly when Robinhood had just one goal, of easy, convenient, commission-free investing. Over the years though, we've added lots of products. You can see some of them here. We've added you know, advanced trading charts, IRAs, a full-fledged crypto experience. And a lot of these products have ended up getting a little bit buried inside the app. So what we asked ourselves was, now that Robin is offering so much more for our customers, how can we make the app even simpler and easier to use? Especially now that We've got so many people coming to us for all sorts of different things. And we thought a lot about this. We did a lot of testing and we believe we found the answer. And this is the answer, to let you choose your own adventure. So what do I mean by that? We wanted to completely rethink the entire Robinhood interface so that it adapts and evolves with your changing needs and puts you in control. So I wanna introduce Nora, who's the team lead on the new Robinhood experience. And she's gonna show you how this will all work. Come on. Hello, uh, thank you, Vlad. So I am so excited to show you guys this new experience. Uh, let's get right into it. So this is the main screen, the dashboard. It should feel pretty familiar to all of you. It still has the big portfolio chart up at the top but there is one major difference. Everything is customizable so that the interface can adapt to meet your needs and only show you the things that you wanna see. So if I like- That's cool. Screen, I can just leave it like this, but if my priorities are shifting, I can change things up. So let's say that I'm an active trader and I wanna keep tabs on big stock movements. I can just arrange the tickers on my screen like this, or maybe I wanna add something else. In the new experience, I can choose between an advanced chart with technical indicators, or I could just look at basic price movements. So let's add Tesla. I'm gonna add Tesla like that. I can choose which chart I wanna see and add it to my dashboard. And now you can see it appears right down at the bottom of the screen. So let's say that you just want to watch stocks. And this is something that I personally have been using the app for. I can create an entire wall of tickers so that I can see my whole watch list at a glance. Maybe you're somebody who likes to invest in crypto. You can create a crypto focused dashboard where you can see your performance and track major coins. And this is what the interface would look like if you're a Robinhood Gold member. You can see your retirement account. I can keep track of my contributions. You can see how much cash is earning interest in your account and- Let's not tap on that last one yet. Yeah, Maybe actually show them how to delete it. Yeah, that's, that's a, perfect. a good point. Good point. Maybe getting ahead of ourselves here. Uh, what do you think I should add, Vlad? Maybe options, Let's pending orders? Let's take a look at your margin health. Okay. You get a great margin rate when you're a gold customer. So. Sounds good. Yeah. And you can see that I'm low risk right now, thankfully. So what you'll notice about this new experience is that there are no tabs at the bottom of the screen. By creating this dashboard, we were able to get rid of tabs altogether and put the decision-making power in your hands. So look out for your customizable Robinhood experience as it rolls out in the next couple of months. Thank you so much, Laura. Thank you. 
so we've been working very hard on this, and I think um, we're pretty convicted that interfaces that adapt to your needs and are customizable are going to be the future of all financial services apps. And just like how the current Robinhood app has become the standard and all user interfaces look like it, I think in five to 10 years, all financial apps will look a little bit like this. So you might as well get an early start and try ours out. I really hope you enjoy using it as much as we enjoyed making it. Uh, second announcement today is about Robinhood Gold. Uh, how many people, before I get into it, are Robinhood Gold members? Oh, wow. Okay. That's great to see because Robinhood Gold is about to get even better for you. So you might remember I talked earlier about how there are two doors in financial services, the super wealthy door and, and the other one. So the idea behind Robinhood Gold is that for a low membership fee, the super wealthy door is open to you. So gold members get the private client experience for as little as $5 a month. Now, for those of you that don't know what that's about yet, in 2022, we launched a new program in Robinhood Gold that's now offering 5% APY on deposits. And we think that's pretty incredible considering that the national average is about a half a percent. Now, since that point, we've seen over $15 billion flow in and we've paid over half a billion dollars in interest to customers so far. So that's money in customers' pockets. But we didn't stop there. We realized that a lot more was possible. For example, less than half of American workers qualify for a retirement plan through their job. So we wanted to do something about that. Last year, we became the first financial product to offer a non-employer IRA that has a match on contributions, and that's 3% for gold members. Now, this retirement match has been pretty successful. Um, it's actually been so successful that we started thinking to ourselves, what about expanding this program to your main Robinhood account, your non-retirement account? Can we do that as well? What? So uh, the punchline is yes. And today, we're announcing something that's unparalleled in our industry a 1% deposit match on all incoming deposits exclusively for Oh my god. With no cap on the amount. That is crazy. Okay, let me explain yeah. this a little bit more. There's got to be a so lot on it. This means that every single dollar you put into Robinhood I'm gets sure. boosted by 1%. So, a lot of our customers they're putting in parts of their just paychecks an instant 1 into Robinhood return. on a regular basis. You basically just got a raise. Robinhood's giving you a raise. Wow. And I should add one more important benefit. Um, many of you probably know this. Your deposits with us are insured by the FDIC at our network of multiple partner banks. Yeah, for up to I don't think you're the only one, John. That's nine times the amount that's protected at any one bank. So you can be sure that your money is safe. Okay, so let's recap a little bit. I know I talked about a lot of numbers. A lot of percentages are flying around. So what is Robinhood Gold offering now? Okay, number one. Yield, 5% APY on your money, one of the highest rates available. Okay, number two, safety, two and a quarter million FDIC insurance on the money earning interest at our network of partner banks, higher than any one bank. Retirement, the first and biggest IRA match on the market. And now, unlimited deposit boost, 1%, no cap on all deposits. Now, That's awesome. um, the way I like to describe this is most investment firms actually charge you a percentage to keep your money there. But with the new unlimited deposit boost, we're paying you a percentage to move your money here. And by the way, all of this cheaper than a Netflix subscription with ads, <laughs> not even the expensive Netflix subscription. Okay, Gosh, so deposit <laughs> match will start rolling out to members over the next few weeks. We're very excited about it. And let's tie it all together. I want to show you how much more money is getting in your pocket if you're a Robinhood Gold customer. So let's say you deposit $10,000 in your Robinhood account, you're a gold member, and you're maxing out your IRA contributions. Basically, we're giving $1,000 of money in your pocket at a cost of $5 a month. So all of that might seem pretty incredible, but it's not even our major announcement today. We felt that there's the one thing out. missing in Robinhood Gold to bring everything together for our members in one place. 
So today, I'm incredibly excited. Um, we're not just introducing a new product, but an entirely new product category. And I'm just gonna spill it, okay? It's innovative credit cards for our users, no matter what stage they're at in the financial journey. What? What? It's a mitt clapping like a mitt. You're gonna yeah. love these cards. Yeah, probably. Right, He's the one yelling. We have so. younger folks in colleges and universities, recent grads. So these folks have a hard time qualifying for traditional credit cards. What they're this looking for is the for income is based part, so they can get a one basic one. Get them approved oh, this is and brilliant. Help them start building credit. We also have more established customers. You know, the more, more established customers are looking for a great digital experience. They want no annual fee. They love virtual cards. And we have a great card for them. We also have super prime high net worth individuals. Um, now, these folks are looking for a premium metal card that feels really good to the touch, high quality design, and amazing rewards. So. Without further ado, I'd like to announce our new comprehensive suite of credit cards that covers all three of these customer segments from day one. A starter card with one of the lowest barriers to entry on the market, an everyday card with no annual fee and a family-focused toolbox of digital features, and a Brilliant. premium metal card with no foreign transaction fees and jaw-dropping, eye-watering rewards. <laughs> Is an amazing three cards, one announcement. Starter card, everyday card, premium card. He's wanting claps. I was good. Here's a mid. There's a mid. Represent a mid. Starter card. Go to the after party. Card, a premium card. <laughs> are you getting it? I got it. I got it. I got it. Love it, don't you? <laughs> These are not three separate cards. It's one card. <laughs> Introducing the Robin Hood Gold card. Oh, wow. that's that way they don't make people feel like they're on different levels. Everybody can get it. All right. One single card that's beautiful, accessible, and has some of the best rewards in the industry. By the way, I have to acknowledge, we do stand on the shoulders of giants here at Robinhood. Of course, they might be a little bit better on the presentation side, but our rewards are better and bigger. So let's talk about the rewards. So... Um, we really got into thinking about this. We wanted to have rewards that were simple, straightforward, make a huge difference. Up four and a half percent customers. after hours. We looked at everything out there and we wanted to, to do better. And we actually realized we could do better, much better. So these are some of the credit cards that you guys might have in your wallets right now. And none of them offer what we've decided to do. So I'll just spill it again. We're giving 3% cash back across the board. Wow. So cool. That's right. 3% on all categories. And we haven't found a card that offers as much cash back in every single category with no limit, no qualifying balance, and no annual fee. And we've looked pretty hard. We're pretty sure one doesn't exist. Plus, if you're a traveler, we know a lot of people travel and uh, we're offering no foreign transaction fees as well. And most importantly, uh, I love this. Travel yeah, um, looks like Beetlejuice. In Robinhood okay. tradition, it's accessible to the average person. So the best credit cards out there accept less than half of their applicants. Now, our intention is for nearly everyone with a Robinhood Gold membership to qualify for a Robinhood Gold credit card. So if you have one card for dining, one for travel, and one for online shopping, you can consolidate all of them. That's just brilliant. One. I don't like that. Now, the benefits might sound great, well, we talk about but it later. in my opinion, they're not even the most innovative part of this credit card. So let me introduce Deepak Rao, general manager of the credit card business, and he'll take us through the digital experience. Come on up. You think they don't want to accept 50% of applications uh, limit their growth? Okay. Oh, let's some people this. are risky. <laughs> yeah, that's true. First, I'm going to show you but how simple gonna... it is to apply for this card. I'm going to open my Robinhood app. This is all my accounts, by the way, so you're going to see a lot into my life today. <laughs> so here's my invitation for the gold card. I'm going to click here. I'm going to wait 
so all of you can admire the animation. I <laughs> really love when the card lights up. Cool. Okay, so now that is out of the way, so I'm going to click continue. Since I'm already a Robinhood customer, all I need to do is click confirm, which I'll do. Here's my address on file. Uh, you all are welcome to come anytime you want. <laughs> we'll press continue. Uh, and now I have to enter my annual income. This is the only part in the entire flow where I have to do something. So let's. How do they enter validate my that? Annual income, one fifty thousand dollars. Are I'm they just taking the it goes at well, their word? So Vlad can do something about this. Uh, <laughs> and you're doing you're doing great. Thank you. So thank far. You, thank you. Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna press continue. Uh, and here I'm gonna agree to the terms and then apply for the card form. Oh, so, so cool. Here you go. So now the system's gonna do its thing, see if I'm approved or not. Boom, just like that. <laughs> so I got approved for a $20,000 credit limit. Let's keep going. More animations, I love this one as well. Uh, we're now gonna talk about the benefits again. Again, it's only available to Robinhood Gold members. No annual fee, no foreign transaction fee, 3% across the board. Uh, you'll get that on every single category. I'm going to see the terms, agree to the terms. Boom, the card's ready to be shipped. Uh, I'm just going to pick my home address. Again, you all are welcome. So we're going <laughs> to click ship with USPS. And that's it. Uh, my card is ready. It should be delivered within the next couple of days. That's it. So simple. Thank you. And if anyone was timing me, it took me less than two minutes to apply for the card while doing all this commentary. So hopefully <laughs> you will also do it faster. Uh, there's one more thing though. Once you click here, we're actually announcing a brand new credit card app. Uh, it's built from scratch. You all will really, really love it. I've been using it for the last few months. Let me show you how magical it is. So we're gonna tap this out, go back and open my credit card app. This is again my real actual credit card app. So you're gonna live vicariously through me today. So let's look at my balance, my available limit, when my payment is due, and my most recent transaction. So I've been in New York for the last few days. So uh, I've obviously got a cab, uh, got a $10 juice, and most, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, and most importantly, uh, I uh, went to Katz's Deli. Oh, so you see- Love Katz's Deli. Thank you, thank you. Cool, okay, I'm gonna show you like some cool features now. So I'm gonna click here on the card details and you'll see my card number right on the app. This is my card number. So uh, <laughs> before anyone has any clever ideas, I'm gonna go and then lock this bad boy. So yeah, you better. Cool, so the card is locked, boom, just like that. Cool, isn't that cool? That's the card number again for everyone. So those of you that are familiar with the main Robinhood app will feel at home here. We brought the same award-winning design into the credit card app, and we've really spent a lot of time thinking about not just how to make everything just work, but also what's the most important information that as a credit card customer you need to see. We show that to you and really nothing more. But there's also a really cool feature that we're excited to show you, which is virtual cards. So why don't we go into that? Cool. Let's talk about virtual cards. Uh, so before I go into it, I'll tell you what virtual cards are. They are disposable card numbers that you can create whenever you want and get rid of them whenever you're done. That's with cool. it. So these are exactly how I am actually using my virtual cards. Um, I'll give you an example just from this week. So uh, I got to New York last week. Uh, we're staying in the hotel. And like the gym is super tiny. Uh, it's a New York gym after all. Uh, so I wanted to uh, sign up for Equinox. I went there, I signed up for a three day free trial. Um, if you, you must have all done this, they make you take your credit card number in order to sign up. So I'm leaving town tomorrow morning. So this is now what we're, I'm gonna do. Instead of going there in person and canceling it, I'm gonna click here and just cancel this card. Actual fight, but Great, that is cool. Uh, if anyone's canceled or tried to cancel a gym membership, you know how powerful this is. <laughs> uh, we also want to show you something that I'm very excited about. One of the innovations that's built into the credit card is the ability to create anonymous virtual cards. So yeah, we talked to a dangerous. lot of customers, and a common theme that we heard is customers are really concerned about who has their information online. They're paying for things. They don't really feel comfortable putting their name everywhere. And so we built this card specifically for that use case. 
look at how easy it is to anonymize your name and to use a virtual card online. Cool, that's it. Now I have a card under the name JDO, which I can use for all my private purchases. That is cool. Yeah. Thanks. That is really I'm sure cool. Some of you have transactions that uh, you'd like to keep private, so this card allows you to to do that seamlessly. <laughs> cool. Okay, everyone's having fun, so we're gonna move to the next topic. <laughs> cool. Okay, I'm gonna talk about family finances today. Um, so this is actually how my family is using the card. Again, welcome to my life. Uh, so. We're gonna show you like some more examples here. So I actually gave the card to my dad. My dad lives in India. He comes and stays with us every, I think every few months for a few months. And um, he does not have a social security number. So he cannot ever get his own card. Not anymore. He actually got his own card through the gold card. Uh, I'll show you what we did. So I got him his own card number that he could use for emergencies. So let's see what he's been up to. So he's buying Indian spices and groceries. Uh, Shocking. Yes. Uh, if you are familiar with Indian households, not having spices counts as an emergency. So that's what he's doing. Uh, but on like a more serious and personal note, uh, this is something that I'm incredibly proud of. You all want to build products uh, that your friends and family can use. So seeing your dad use something you have built is like really, really special. You can actually do this for anyone in your family that is important to you. So. I'll show you how. You can do this for your partner, for children, for uh, caregivers, for parents, obviously, and anyone <clears> in your family that is close to you. You can set the right controls, the right protections, and most importantly, you can build their credit. Oh, awesome. That is handy, man. You can build um, their credit? So this is, this is something. I don't know if I heard that part. It's actually the first family product that Robinhood has created. Now, our customers are growing up with us. A lot of our first customers now have families of their own. They want to share Robinhood with their loved ones, and this product allows them to do that. It's really a first-class experience within the app, and really it's just the beginning of Robinhood providing tools and features and functionality for the entire family. Cool. Okay, last but not the yeah, least, this, this is my favorite. You can build their credit. We'll talk about cashback. What? Uh, you'll see I'm earning 3% cashback, uh, and I have about $100 oh, worth of cashback rewards. So traditionally, what other credit cards allow you to do is use your cashback rewards for travel, for shopping, for uh, gift cards. That? We let you do all these things as well. But there's one thing that is truly unique to us and only we we'll let you do, which is to invest your cashback directly into your brokerage account. So I'm going to show you how it works. Now, first, let me go back to my brokerage app. Keep in attention on that number. I have $4,000 in my investing account. So now I'm going to go back to my credit card app and transfer all my cashback over to brokerage. So I'm going to go here. Press this button. Done. That's it. The money's in my brokerage account. Let's go back there and see if it showed up. So I'm going to click here. Moment of truth. Boom. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, so you'll notice wow. that my brokerage has forty-one hundred dollars now. The cool thing is that the beetle juice hair that gives me is already earning five percent yield because I'm a part of the gold membership. So now you can actually start building your portfolio primarily from this cash back. Um, and uh, you don't have to worry about like whether you're getting deposits immediately or later on. This will just enable you to build your portfolio as you go along. Do you get a live question on the... There's a live question from the audience about <laughs> <laughs> whether you get 1% uh, from this cash back. Uh, I think I'll have to check with Vlad. I think it's true. Yeah, you yes. Do. Cool. Okay. So that's all for me. Uh, thank you all. Thanks, Deepak. Nicely done. All right. Um, so as you can see, there's so much more to this card beyond the 3% cashback rewards, although we're very excited about those as well. Beautiful app experience. Because everything's in the Robinhood ecosystem, your money transfers instantly and seamlessly. Um, but we also have a great new partnership that really powers the network behind the card. And when we think about the, the network, it's very important. Obviously, every transaction you make goes through it. So we wanted the best network with the widest availability and global reach. So we went with Visa. And we have right here, Ryan McInerney, Chief Executive Officer of Visa, uh, hopefully. Hey, Vlad, can you hear me? I can hear you. Oh, and I can see you. Look at that. How you doing? Yeah, I'm great, thanks. Thanks for having me. Thanks for joining um, us. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Uh, Deepak, great job up there, by the way. Some of those features are amazing. And 
Hi, everybody. As Vlad said, uh, I'm the CEO of Visa. It's great to be participating in this amazing event. And, and Vlad, thanks for you and the team for inviting me. You know, Robinhood has built an incredible platform. When it launched 10 years ago, Robin's, Robinhood's commission-free trading was unheard of. And what it did is it disrupted the financial industry as a whole. So since that moment, Robinhood hasn't stopped. You all know that and you've seen more of that today. They've continued to open doors within the financial world to those who previously were unable to access it. From launching retirement to crypto, to many of the things that you're seeing today, Robinhood continues to show how it's the one-stop shop for helping anyone build long-term wealth. And that continues today with the announcement of the gold card. And Visa is very excited to be partnering together on this next step in the Robinhood journey to launch and support the gold card. As Vlad was describing, the gold card is very unique. And I know Robinhood's customers are gonna love it. It has an industry leading rewards program, as Vlad was saying, with 3% cash back across all categories with no annual fee or foreign transaction fees. And it has the ability to convert points to real dollars that you were then able to invest on the Robinhood platform. Like Robinhood, at Visa, we come to work every day in service of our customers to dream and design the most innovative, frictionless, and secure payment experiences. And we are very much putting that into action through our partnership with Robinhood. Robinhood's mission to democratize finance for all reflects the importance of empowering people with the right set of tools needed to confidently make financial decisions in their everyday lives. And it aligns closely with Visa's purpose to uplift everyone everywhere by being the best way to pay and be paid. This is why I'm so thrilled to be partnering with Robinhood on this journey. Thank you, Vlad. Thank you, Robinhood. And thank you for everyone at the event today. It's an honor to be here and we really appreciate the partnership. We're excited about the road ahead. Thank you so much. Thank you for the kind words and also the partnership. They've really built a, an amazing network. Um, now, there's also one more feature of this credit card that I would be remiss to not mention. What? You see, it's really important to me that Robinhood doesn't just offer the best prices and tools, but Travel. also that our products are simple and beautiful and really delightful to use because we're not just business people or financial people or geometry majors that are building technology, but we also have great artists at Robinhood. I see a few of them in this room. And the creative team at Robinhood has been working incredibly hard over the past few months to make what we believe is the most iconic card on the market today. Now, That's I know you've seen some pictures of it and in the demos and everything, but it's another thing to hold it in your hands. And I happen to have one in my pocket right here. Imagine that. So there it is. And we will be making sure that every Robinhood user in this room will be among the first to get a Robinhood gold card. I'm it's happy. There's more. We also decided to go the extra mile and do something that's never been done before, at least at this large of a scale. So I'm very excited to introduce to you the Robinhood solid gold credit card made from real gold. Let's play the video. I just want to say that has been done before, but yeah, yeah, you can get those. Is a Mitt getting a solid gold credit card? <laughs> I don't know if he's going to be that lucky. <laughs> be cool if he did. Isn't that great? Um, any any preppers in the room, by the way? Anyone a prepper? Okay, I see a prepper. If you if you're a hardcore prepper, this card will still have value in a worst case scenario. <laughs> You'll still be able to pay for things with it. You might have to cut it in little pieces. We don't want that. Just kidding. Um, 
but I should warn you, this is not a gold plated card. This is a solid hunk of gold, which means it's gonna be a little bit heavier than your average credit card, but uh, quite a bit more beautiful. Now you're probably wondering, how do I get this solid gold card? This has gotta be available only to high net worth Robinhood customers, right? Um, so I'll tell you, in Robinhood tradition, it wouldn't be a Robinhood product launch un unless there was some referral incentive involved. So here it is. For those of you who refer 10 people to Robinhood Gold, this solid gold card will be available to you as long as our supplies last. Just 10? Just All right, you guys have to use my referral code. I need that gold card. Just don't melt it down. I see a few people that, uh, that might be keen to do that. Um, you also might yeah, have seen, dirty. if you've been watching NBA games, that during some of the tunnel walkouts, uh, a few NBA players have been wearing these solid gold cards as jewelry. Um, because you never know when you're going to need to make a transaction. You know, you might be in a, in a timeout or a halftime. Um, so these chains were designed by celebrity jeweler Ben Baller. And to celebrate tonight, we wanted to give a few of you here in the room a prototype of our very first solid gold card. And cool. to make it even more special, we're gonna throw in the limited edition Ben Baller gold chain to match it for your walkout of this building tonight. Amidst happy, amidst clapping, amidst clapping. I know, fun, isn't it? Um, so you all should have received an envelope when you came in here. Hopefully you still have it. If your envelope has a golden ticket, inside. Congratulations, you're the first community members with the solid gold card. Just remember, From a misreaction, remember I don't know. Uh, these are prototypes. Don't take it to Mamoon's falafel just yet. Make your way to the DJ booth afterward to receive it, and congratulations. Amit didn't get it. He's looking around. We'll see. You don't have to identify yourself. I know people are concerned about their privacy. Okay, so to recap today's announcements, three new innovations from Robinhood. All new customizable app experience that puts you in charge. 1% match on all deposits, no cap for gold members, exclusively for gold members. And the brand new Robinhood Gold credit card, jaw dropping 3% cash back, all categories. And this is just the beginning of what we have planned to build tools to help you build a long term financial future through our products. So, gold card waitlist live right now in your Robinhood app, or you can also scan this QR code right here to go right to it. The rollout will commence in a couple of weeks. This is starting very, very soon. And whether you're watching on live stream or here in person with us, I really want to sincerely thank you for supporting us over the years and coming to this very first Robinhood community event. So I really hope you enjoy all the new stuff we've been building for you. Thank you. Why didn't they talk about the... 5% cash back on travel. I don't think they care. <laughs> Just in case people want to scan that. Or I don't know, man. That was pretty good. What do you think? What's your first impression? So people are instantly going to call me a bear, but uh, credit cards are not uh, an easy tool to, to get right, right? Like, SoFi, for example, is having an extremely hard time with their credit card, and they are for Prime Plus. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. For for a starter credit card where they want to accept almost everyone that's paying five dollars a month, I uh, I can't wait to see the results. I'm not betting against them at all. I think that this stock is going to do amazing uh, if they can get it right. If they have like Capital One level numbers, they're bringing on every member and seeing really really low default rates this is a 50 dollars stock all day long credit cards make so much freaking money it's ridiculous yeah. so uh but it's just a matter of getting those defaults right it's real financial geography in a place that vlad has never played in no i get that i totally get that and i think and they have such a benefit too from being so digital and and having a lower expense base kind of like sofi versus a regular bank um, and the one percent ma match for like the investment account, not just the credit card. Crazy, I thought was awesome. Um, there's just it just seems like they're going to be flooding money in to their ecosystem, and if they're getting all these people that are bringing over their investment accounts and putting all their money in there, 
I don't know that maybe that helps some of the risk, but I am curious. I mean, again, credit cards, especially consumer debt isn't that high right now. Government debt's insane. And in the years ahead, um, I don't know what that's going to end up looking like. Again, it's going to be great right now. And I love the fact that it's up like 5% and we're over 20 now. And I think we're going to go to 33 really quick and I get to make a shit ton of money. Yeah. That part I love. I love Dude, all that. Vlad uh, went way above my expectations in terms like, like I, I had a feeling this was going to be more than just a card release. Some people were yeah. saying in the chat, like, man, you do not need to make another UI. Like your, your UI is what separates you. Yeah, um, UI looked awesome though. Making it customizable yeah. to where you can see the stuff you want to see as a widget is awesome. So I, I completely love that as well. I wonder how they're going to keep um, promoting products that have been hidden though. Because that's a real thing and why a bunch of those financial companies don't allow for, for customizing that kind of stuff is because sure. if you do hide retirement or crypto because right now you don't need those tools you might forget that robin hood even offers them in the first place like, i've got a feeling that they're gonna they're gonna be tracking what's hidden too mm -hmm. and if they're doing promotions and something's hidden i got a feeling you're gonna get a pop-up or something when you go in the app reminding you about it because they should be able to do all that but you're yeah, right oh, yeah. like that you're right that would be a concern but i got a feeling they're gonna i got a feeling they're thinking about that and the uh, the second app is not yep. uh, super exciting to me. Um, I think that in the coming oh, for the next card, you mean having a second yeah. app? Yeah, that was kind of weird. I'm trying to think of why. That is, it that is what, Can you uh -oh. be in the investment account and click it and then launch this? I I don't know. So so it's definitely happened. Like like a ton of fintechs do that. They'll make up to five different apps. But yeah, now okay. you're seeing the opposite. Like, like Bank of America just came out the other day and they said, hey, we're actually consolidating our five different apps into one app. So they're- Yeah, they're I don't get the extra app. Some people brought that up in chat too. I don't get the extra app. Again, you've got it's this customized they want to. UI. It's because they have to. <laughs> It'll yeah. probably slow down the uh, latency of the trading and that's probably what they have going for oh, them right now. That you could be right. Yeah, yeah. So, well, hopefully they at least have a launch from the, from the trading app that people are in a lot to where they can just click on that and then get to the credit card right away too. Yeah, yeah. They got to have something like that. I'm sure as as time goes on and phones get more powerful and stuff that they'll they'll end up consolidating it back into a single app. Sure. Um, but that's what I think that they're worried about. Robinhood is extremely fast. It's what separates them from the other brokerages. I don't think that they wanted to kill that that special, you know, For every credit card transaction wow. being done. Yeah, that's probably it. You're right. It's probably technical more than anything. Yeah. Um, yeah. The building their family's credit was interesting. I didn't understand that. Like, like if your father doesn't have a social security number and that's why he can't get a spending card, then how's that going to affect his credits? Like, yeah, I was confused by that too because you can add. Um, somebody in my chat said, "Hey, if you add an authorized user, it's going to report on their credit too," and that is an accurate statement. But if you don't have a social security number, how are you adding them? I don't know. I'm trying to think of like, I'm trying to think of the last time I added an authorized user on an account. Did I put in a social? Put in the name? Yeah, I think so. Right? Like, I think you have to have that level of information. Otherwise, that's going to pop up on their credit. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember how that works. I would assume you'd have to at least have a social uh yeah derek yeah the the uh, notifications are available right now i think also from what i heard from uh jesse was that they're also offering five percent cash back for travel purchases um, yes yeah i sure yeah, they, use they that. Mention that. yeah you're right they didn't say that did they is that what you were talking about earlier yeah yeah why why not i mean that's a that's a cool feature that's a, that's a lot of money yeah they should have said that they definitely should have said that but yeah it's got it's got like everything you would want out of a credit card so that, that part is really cool. And then if I can get 10 referrals from you guys, then I can get my gold card. And so 10 is easy, money. man. That that's You got to make that shit happen. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I want my gold card. I just, I, I dude, I don't know if you can see behind me. Uh, yeah. Just on my stand here, I've got one, two, three, four, five. There's another card down there. Cat, excuse me. Oh, uh, hello. I, I love collecting cards. I want that gold card so bad, and I can't even do the freaking referrals. So, um, 
Yeah, that's crazy. If someone does get a gold card, I'll literally buy it off you. So um, please let me know if people get that. You're going to have to get it from somebody else. I'm keeping mine. Yeah. <laughs> I can't um, but yeah, man, a any other uh, any other comments on that? I mean, what are we missing? I thought I thought it was great. The stock jumped four and a half percent roughly in after hours before close happened here. Um, I've got a quarter of a million dollars in January 2025 leaps with a $20 strike. So I'm in the money right now. So I can't wait to see us potentially go to 30 or 33 pretty quickly. I think Yeah. this is yeah. a, this is a nice catalyst. This again, that 1% match for all accounts is huge. I like the app. I like the gold card and the way they presented it. I love the burner card, private card thing to where you're not sharing all your information, especially with sites that you don't yeah. normally frequent. And you might want to keep it private. Um, all that stuff makes just a ton of sense. And just for visibility, like online, you again, if it's not Amazon, you don't want everybody seeing everything that you're doing um, yeah. and being able right. to scrape and steal and hack. It, it's funny in, in the world where we think that transparency is just completely going away or sorry, um, privacy is completely going away. You have a lot of these back. companies that are really trying to fight back on that, giving you uh, virtual cards that, you know, burn the numbers. So then you can just, and like I had, a, they talk about the, the gym. I literally had that exact experience where they're like, you have to walk into our branch during these hours to cancel your membership. I'm like, yeah, what if I don't, true. what if I didn't even live in the area? Like, what are you talking yeah. about? Just cancel my freaking membership. It's ridiculous. I had a thing like that with bank of America. I live in the Midwest and I, I was trying to close out an account, but they're like, no, we had some fraud on it or whatever. I'm like, okay, motherfucker, what, why can't we do this right now over the phone? Or yeah. what do I need to present? Is there a portal I can give? And the answer was no. Those motherfuckers wanted me to drive 400 miles to the closest branch yeah. so that I could resolve the issue. And that was the answer these people gave until I went on X and bitched about Bank of America and a couple hundred people liked it and tagged those fuckers. Mm. And then all of a sudden they had a resolution for me. Yeah, all of a sudden. But, yeah. But what if you're a normal like person who doesn't have social media presence? Mm -hmm. You just gotta drive 800 miles between both directions. Literally, to yes. Cancel <laughs> an account that is yours. Yeah. Yeah. If like, you guys aren't candid. if you guys aren't trying to uh I, I would say this is the absolute future, though, in terms of pr uh privacy, I think it's so good having these virtual numbers that hide your actual data, having email masking, phone number masking, these sorts of things. You're just giving people essentially burner information. I mean, we're, we're definitely finding a way to live in this uh, internet world a little bit safer, but. Yeah. Um, well, and theoretically too, with the family thing, I could like give my daughter a limit mm -hmm. and have essentially a kid's card where she can go and spend it. And she's got a certain amount she could use and I can yeah, manage it all bucks. from one place. <laughs> I love the way they had that set up because a lot of these credit card apps, like it's their portal and it just sucks and it's very legacy. But I love the fact that like I could click on the family thing. I could see what I'm earning for rewards. I could just add a burner account. I could do everything from that one place. It looked slick. It really did. So the only thing I'm going to add, because uh, I want to just not uh, give the ultra bullish thesis every yeah. single time. Uh, also, in terms of this credit card, if they don't get that right, they can really hurt themselves. Um, so it's not always just an ad. Like because you're bringing on a ton more revenue, does not mean that you're going to bring in a ton more net income. So these extra deposits, these extra, uh, you know, all these extra costs might not mean extra profits. Now, Robinhood has said in 2024 they want to increase their their uh, sales and marketing expenses. They're going back to you know, to growth on. So um, I'm very excited. I think that, that those were the ages of a very healthy Robin Hood was whenever markets were doing good, they were spending a lot. Um, yeah. But it's good to, you know, track those things to see how this is actually going to turn out for for bottom line growth. Yeah. And again, there's there's risk that comes with issuing credit cards. And like you said, you do a bad job with it. And especially if the market turns sour, what can look like a blessing could be an absolute fucking curse later on. So, but I think for now it's a blessing and uh, don't say anything else bad about it. Cause I want to make a bunch of money in the next couple of weeks, Jenna. <laughs> yeah. <sorry. laughs> so, but yeah, this was fun. I, they, it was a good event. It started off a little weird. Volume was really low. Um, mm -hmm. 
a little strange, but they got there. Amit is such a hype man, eh? He he was right in the front, like you said, with yeah. the Pikachu's hair, just oh yeah, yeah, clapping like those those monkeys with the uh, with the, yeah. like the face. <laughs> he's gonna watch this. He's gonna be like, "Fuck you guys, man!" But yeah, him, no. But, I'm, 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 oh yeah, I'm he's great. He's great. For him. He's um, great, and it was and it was an, a, a, and again, he he's the hype man, and he probably absolutely loves this experience, and he's getting to hobnob with Vlad instead of instead of watching dumb money. He's he's living part of it, so that's pretty yeah. cool. Well, uh, yeah, man. Hey, can, can I do a shout out real quick for a sure. promo? Yeah, yeah. Um, it, at eight thirty, I do this every day. Uh, I'm doing a what what I call my fintech frenzy. So this is going to be for I'm going to talk about this event, but also there's a bunch of news for SoFi and other fintech companies. I do that all the time. Uh, on Fridays, I usually do a show with Jesse. I don't know if we're doing. Are we doing one or what? What are we doing? I've been really lazy lately. If you can come up with good ideas and do all the effort, then I, I will attend. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'll try. If you can do it all, I'll show up. <laughs> that's exactly, that's pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. I'd like to uh, talk one day about uh, what you thought about my latest PayPal video because um, I thought you would have liked that. Do you think yeah, it was did. an honest breakdown? I think so. I think you did a good job valuing it. And I like the fact that you pulled in a bunch of different companies, some in different sectors, but you you did a good job justifying it and talking to it. And I I mean, I, I think PayPal is worth a lot more than than it is or what, what it's valued at right now. So I agree with the estimate. Yeah, but yeah, it was well, a good video. I even I think I retweeted it, too. I told people to watch it. It was a good one. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Anyway, yeah. let's uh, I didn't I, I shouldn't have switched the topic. Let's just uh, end it there. So um Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching. Really do appreciate your time. Check us out on X. You can check Jesse out right there. All of you guys are already following him. I know that. Uh, but I also have a channel or account as well. All right. Bye for now. All right. See you guys. Bye.